Um, right, Marshall's Road car park, to consider removal of the height restriction below. Um, this uh, was really occasioned by um, a letter from Paul Littleton, aka Paul Alexander. At this point, I should point out that I work with his daughter. But I, that, that wouldn't swing me up one way or the other, but I should point out the record. I, did. She is, I don't work with her, but she's in the same company as I work with. So I work for. Can I, can I say two things about this? If we can't take it away, you just have the gypsy to move on the side. <coughs> he obviously has a key to open it because he says he can't be bothered to open it. Yeah, I, I don't so know. I don't know what the hassle is. If he, want, if he opens it and lets his vehicle in and then opens it again, provided he keeps it shut. I mean, I, I think I'm being totally sort of ridiculous about it. Mm. And I'm very surprised that that van actually doesn't fit under the height mm. restriction. But nevertheless, assuming that he's saying the truth there, he has the key, he can use it, he can use it at his leisure, and we mustn't leave it open. Because if we leave it open, yeah, we've had white vans parked in there all night, yeah. or whatever, the dips are moving in, the whole thing there has to. That's always a problem. Yeah. I, I believe his van is just slightly too high. But I agree, it's not so much ever to open the barrier, it is a key. Um, one main concern of it really is uh, the vans are too high, the, the big white vans that you're worried about, they tend to be longer and um, if you've got a long wheelbase, think of the big DVD vans, that's what I'm thinking about, they go into that small car park, the they're not going to be able to turn around, well it's going to be very difficult, so yeah. I think to open it for all the time uh, permanently would be a bad idea. <coughs> yeah. That's yeah, totally agree. Um, one of the things that we need to be mindful of as well is HGV lorries. You know, the, the front cabs, they, they can't get in there at the moment, but they could use it as open our parking, yeah. dump their load mm -hmm. up at Wolf Park and yeah. then shoot down into the town. And it could be uh, a lot of residents use that for open our parking, and we could lose that. As well, as a council, we cannot show preference to one, one business. business over others, so we <coughs> certainly shouldn't be doing that. You know, there are lots of shops in the, in the town that don't have parking space and have to comply with all the parking related regulations that we have within the town, and we should not be showing preference to any one business over another. Thank you. If I may, I just yeah. said we have shown preference, but I don't even have a key to it. Yeah, so in yeah. fact, we put right back and say, you know, you must realise that other residents, nobody else has a key to get in there, yeah. except you, we have been well, bent on the back to be more than else. I, I don't know when. No, it's way before our time. It was for the fires, I think, years ago, local residents either side, so I know a couple of people on the residents' oh, side, they've all got keys just in case okay. they need to get into the fire for okay. a chance. Uh, uh, so I would just maybe we have to write back to, um, uh, to Paul Alexander and explain the thing. We should emphasise that, uh, that we wouldn't want him to take this up. As, a, uh, as an indication that we're not supportive of local businesses. This, this council does so much for local, everything we can for local businesses. We allow them to advertise free on the, uh, on the website. We promote them wherever we can. We set the rules business forum up to allow them to. Think. Um, and of course, as a council, we use local businesses wherever we possibly can when we're spending money. If, if we're sat in a beautiful chamber at the moment that was this particular local business actually uh, got the contract to do so we do support them we, and we should emphasize that we are you know we are pro local business mm -hmm. um, it's just that this is something that's just not possible mm -hmm. uh, yes councillor how yeah just just a quick sort of have it on to that that as Ms. as um, Ms. does have a key we do need to stress that if he opens it he needs to shut it Absolutely. because we will be in a position whereby any other vehicle will go in mm -hmm. so we should stress that though if he is doing that mm -hmm. Yes, and one final point, if I may. Uh, his first sentence, sorry, his first sentence, his second paragraph says, um, "I did park my vehicle in the designated parking area, as denoted by the red coloured blocks." He's parking on the pavement. Mm -hmm. I think we should make this point that he's not actually parking in the designated parking area, mm -hmm. contrary to what he might believe. Mm -hmm. okay. Actually, so just to clarify that, that is really dangerous because mm -hmm. we've got so many school children walking <coughs> back and forth on that stretch of it. And, he, and he, he has to drive over the pavement mm -hmm. um, to get onto it. That's bad. What's worse is he's got a huge van. When you reverse, he's off the pavement. He's got nobody behind watching where he's going. No, no and there's people walking yeah. past. So we've got school children walking past and a very big, long van with no back windows trying to reverse over the pavement. It's crazy, then. No, I agree. Final word. Yes, absolutely. And he's actually reversing into a bus bay. Yeah, no, so, I, yeah, so yeah, are, I mean, we're all agreed it's completely unsatisfactory. Yeah, it's a question of how we respond, yeah. but we have, I think we have a response. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> thank you for that.